Hello out there everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Edward aka Progcat and I am back with a video. I didn't know what kind of video I wanted to make today because I am excited about some of the few of the who things that I've been hearing. Um, I like the new Pete Townsend song that I heard and later on i'm not sure i think it's the fall maybe summer who's next will be coming out as a I, i'm taking it as a super deluxe i don't know all the details but then i went to do some reading and um, came across that an album that i am going to talk about one of my favorite by one of my favorite excuse me progressive rock bands that's king crimson so these are for this video is for all those dedicated fans of king crimson that uh love the band love their music i still love the music i still listen to the music uh, i still want more from the band and so today i'll be talking about an album that was released about 20 maybe 30 years ago on this date i remember the first time i heard my first cream crimson song and that's um, 21st schizoid man with headphones on and it just blew me away it shocked me at first but it just blew me away. I had never heard of anything like that with some amazing saxophone playing from one of the iconic album in the court of a Crimson King, which is just a rock solid album. So that's what I decided I was going to do a video on this album. Oh, before I even get to that album, let me talk about something else about another King Crimson album. This right here. I believe it was released as a guide to King Crimson or an introduction, an, an introduction guide to King Crimson. Um, if I understand that right. Sorry, folks, my thoughts are everywhere because I'm excited about doing this video. But this right here is an alternate guide to King Crimson from 69 through 72, one of their early and best periods. I, I, I like every period. I like everything they have done. Uh, I even like all the, you can never get enough of live albums from this band. They're just so incredible. They do so many different things. They improvise. I mean, you know, you never know. It just seems like you never know what to expect seeing them live. I've never seen them live. I had a chance once, but the, you know, the funds weren't there. But what's so really cool about this alternate guide, and yes, it's a recommendation if you haven't picked this up, is that it has instrumental versions and different mixes. It's, um, let me reach over here. It's a limited edition. The LPs are 200 gram. That's no big deal to me. It's uh, King Crimson Rarities and Alternate Mixes, mixed by Robert Fripp, Stephen Wilson, and David Singleton. I love the way this album sounds, and so did my wife. She really did enjoy hearing this in the background. Um, I love the uh, studio run-through of the tune, I Talk to the Wind, which is so good, and the instrumental trio trio three version of 21st uh, century schizoid man if you can find this i would pick it up i've only seen one i went to discogs to look it up and i've only seen um one listing of it it comes with a book as well let me reach back here but it came with this book right here in the in it and this really incredible photography and photos really a great listen to i probably i'm going to clean some records later on and i'm going to uh, spin it again it's just so so good but you get this really i don't know how many pages but this real nice book that comes with it 
I recommend it. If you want more King Crimson, more rarities, that's one of the things to pick up. Um, a while back when it seemed like three things came out. And I and I can only remember the two. One was a live album. But King Crimson's a, The Power to Believe. I had a chance to get this on vinyl. But with this live album, a, I think it's called a Construction of Light or something. Um, I could only afford to get uh, this uh, that on CD and that live album and the al this album that is celebrating a 40th anniversary. No, is it? It's celebrating an anniversary date release. Let's just put it this way. That is track. This is another one of their masterpieces. I love this album. I love the music. It's still relevant. I still listen to it. Some of the songs just and the music just sound like soundtrack to my uh, part of my life as I'm in my early 50s. But this album is good from beginning to end. It's a double LP. It's just rock solid. You know... This came out like years after the uh, Three of a Perfect Pair. I went and even went to go listen to that live on Absent Lovers, live in Montreal. I've been trying to get that on compact disc. I don't think that's ever... If it has been released on vinyl, it's probably way out of my price range. But I've been trying to find me a CD copy of Absent Lovers. I love that live in Montreal, double disc, but it's still kind of pricey in it for it so i'm just still kind of waiting but this was worth to get it i mean i i don't remember i remember trading quite a few things to get this one and the uh, that live lp let me see if i can find that real quick yeah uh the reconstruction of life this is so good this is a double lp I mean, just great, great uh, stuff. You get like Prozac Blues, Liar's Tongue, Tongues and Aspect Part 5, The Deception of the Thrust. I mean, this is so good. Into the Frying Pan. Real, real good. My wife loves that album. Um, that album, I can't, I don't think, I, I, let me think here. The Construction of Light. That surprised me. That's a pretty heavy duty progressive album i love it but happy anniversary to this album track it's worth picking up um i was uh, revisiting it uh before i made this video but this is the time when king crimson came back expanded their band added some members to it um i'm gonna probably say his wrong his name wrong but it has uh pat Mr. Lotto and Bill Bruford and um, Tony Levin, Trey Gunn, Robert Fripp, and Adrian Blue. Adrian Blue's vocals on this album and the lyrics and the way he vocal delivery are just perfect to the sound of King Crimson on this record. It's almost like they went and reinvented themselves again. This ain't one of those records either, you know... For whatever reason, people go out there and say what they say and say, well, it sounds like uh, Robert Flip's learning how to play the guitar again. No. He's always going to be a very, very talented and great guitar player. This album starts off with a track that I love called Varum with V-R-O-O-M. Just right in your face track. Goes into this coda. Uh, four, seven, five, and then right into a really, I would say like a Beatles kind of, um, uh, kind of this little part of the music kind of reminds me of Honey Pie from the White Album that, da -na 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 -na, and that's the song Dinosaur. It is catchy. It is a pop prog classic, and it will be one. Walking on Air. It's beautiful. And another one of my favorites is One Time. I love that. It has a part of the music that reminds me of early King Crimson in there. 
and you, I get really lost. I love Inner Garden. I mean, from beginning to end, it's a record that I believe fans will, even if you have it on CD, whatever format you like, I'm not saying you have to have these on vinyl. I have King Crimson CDs that I love. In fact, I was earlier playing uh, Starless and Bible Black, which I don't even have that on vinyl, but I love my CD version of it. So I've been in a King Crimson mood, and it started early. I don't know how to, how I got there. It started earlier in my day. I was listening to Etta James at last. Love that. That is such a good album. I was listening to the CD. And then I started to hear a little bit of classical pieces of music. And the next thing you know, I started... Uh, reading about this album and here I am I starting to dig out stuff of from my King Crimson collection that I love and I appreciate what I have and and just re listening uh, vi uh what do you what do I see some vinyl community record post I went to visit some old friends and I was glad and happy to see them again but this is so 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 good um, what else was I going to say about that? That live album is very, very good. I mean, go check this out. I mean, you could probably listen to it for free on YouTube. And definitely if you have a Spotify account, that's where I went to go re revisit a lot of King Crimson was my, was my Spotify account. And so I'm going to spend time listening to that again, that album, the rest of the week. So happy anniversary. I am glad that the King Crimson machine went and made more records. Like I said, really enjoy every period, every incarnation of the band, uh, adding members down to certain members. For me, you can't go wrong. If you're wanting and if you're watching this video for a first time and you're like in the early days of your musical journey and you're getting into Prague, check out some King Crimson. I would recommend starting with the early stuff and going from there. I mean, they have such a great catalog of music. I've seen also in the past where they made these really big, extensive uh, a, what do you call it? CD editions, like of albums of Islands and and I can't think of the other ones, but Islands comes to mind because I remember I wanted that, but it was pretty, pretty pricey. But who's to say that I might find it for a good deal? Maybe a good deal where I can trade for it. That's usually how I get a lot of my stuff that I just can't afford and just look through my stuff and saying, you know what? I can live without certain records. I'll be all right. But anyway, check out this one if you get a chance to. Reason to Believe. Another great, great album. I mean, these guys are geniuses. They are great musicians. They have the credibility. I am glad they are prog rockers. And who's to say you might see more live concerts, uh, more uh, music for them. I say I welcome it. All right, folks, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Hello out there, King Crimson fans. I was thinking about all of us out there and thinking about you and making this video. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. I appreciate all the new subscribers that uh, have been jumping on and tuning in to Prog Hatch channel here. Really appreciate you guys. Much love. Have a great week. I'll see you soon.